I don't have what to wear at all Everything is getting too small, too small Hi guys, I was considering is it a good timing to talk today about the coast because I understand that everyone is already dreaming about sunny days and fresh spring air however when we have these sales going on right now i guess that it is a perfect timing to get yourself a nice quality classy coat that's gonna last for you for many seasons to come that's why today i want to talk about the four different types of the coats that i think do form a very classy essential coats collection so the first type of the coat is a classic tailored coat in neutral tone in my opinion every woman should have a classic coat in her wardrobe first of all no matter what you're wearing no matter how you are matching this coat you will always look put together without even making uh, any efforts so you can match this coat with the sneakers you can match this coat with the loose fitted clothes and you're gonna look put together the second reason why do I like this type of coat is that it is very easy to style and it gives you a lot of flexibility so you can dress it up for an evening event with full fur scarf high heel shoes a nice structure bag on a casual days, you can dress it down by wearing hiking shoes, uh, beanies, sneakers, ripped denim. But again, you will look casual but smart. The third thing, what do I like about this coat? That the classic tailored cut flatters body proportions. And you can wear a lot of different layers, but this type of coat won't add any additional bulk to your frame, which is great because in winter we are usually layering a lot of layers of sweaters and shirts and sweaters once again. And the last thing why this coat is so perfect that the classic cut guarantees that this type of coat gonna stick with you for many seasons to come. Now, the question is how to choose that perfect coat for yourself. So first of all, I would say that it is very important to check the shoulder line. And I would suggest going for a classic tailored fit for your shoulders. So no relaxed fit, no cocoon fit, no dropped shoulder line. I would stick to a very classic tailored fit, which means that the shoulder line should, should reflect your natural shoulders. So go for a very clean, classy, tailored fit. The next important thing is to pay attention to the length of the coat. The best selection for this type of coat is somewhere around the knee area and according to the last tendencies, the longer the better. However, choose that perfect length for yourself because you don't want a coat that is too overpowering on your frame. And the next point to consider is the color of the coat. As I already mentioned, I would go for neutral tones because these tones will ensure that you have plenty of different styling options, that this coat won't go out of style in the next upcoming seasons. And if you choose a good match for your skin tone complexion, you're gonna enjoy the friendship of this coat for many, many seasons to come. When talking about neutral tones, I guess that there is quite a wide variety to choose from. All the blacks, beige, camels, navies, grays, um, what else? Also, we could incorporate uh, quite classy prints such as animal print, gingham, plaid, pinstripes. That's quite a big selection to choose from. The last thing, what is important when choosing that perfect coat for yourself, paying attention to the quality. Of course, you have to pay attention to all these major things like stitching, equal length of the sleeves, <laughs> so the obvious things. And then uh, the next thing to consider is the composition. My suggestion would be that natural components in the composition 
should take up more than 50% of the whole composition. So let's say you're going for 60% wool and 40% of polyester. Don't be afraid of synthetic elements in the composition because it ensures that your coat uh, will last longer and it won't crease so fast. Moving on to the next category of the coats, I want to talk about smart casual coats. Now, what makes the coat less formal but still classy? I think that the cut, color and details. Considering all these details will let you easily identify the perfect match for yourself. So let's start off with the cut and shoulder line. In this case, for a smart casual coat, you want a little bit more relaxed, with the drop shoulder line, it might be also a cocoon fit, a boyfriend's fit, so something a little bit oversized. If you are keeping the balance uh, of the color and other details, this type of coat will still be very classy and elegant. The second element to consider is a color or print. So in this case, if you are going for a classy coat, I would suggest going for maybe uh, a little bit brighter color or more interesting print so that you would have this smart coat but with the twist of the fun and interest. And of course, once again, when choosing a perfect color match for yourself, you have to consider what colors are flattering for your skin tone and your complexion. The last element to consider is uh, interesting outstanding elements it might be interesting closure it might be some sort of uh, bigger lapels it might be interesting cuffs it might be uh, interesting pockets it might be uh, embellishments it might be slits it might be a symmetrical cut so there are a lot of different options so we have discussed all the three elements that in my opinion makes the coat less formal and it is up to you when making the decision either if you want to combine all these three elements or only the oversized fit is quite enough for you. I do think that of course combining all these three elements is on a risky side. It might be that you will get bored uh, more faster and of course it is important to consider how you're gonna match and style your coat. If you're gonna pick too many details that are creating drama around your coat it will of course be more difficult to style it. The most important is to find a perfect balance for yourself. The decision is up to you. Let's move on to the coat number three. And here we are talking about this very classy uh, winter item puffer coat. And of course, the reasons for having this coat on the list is that it is comfortable, it is warm, it is snug, it is comfortable once again. This coat is of course more on a casual side so it is a little bit more challenging to style this coat with high heels and uh, classic formal pieces however it is still possible if you'll pay attention to several things. So first of all I would suggest going for a little bit longer once again something around your knee area because it is the most flattering length and it will ensure that you won't be freezing in this short puffer jacket. The seventh thing to consider is once again all the details. I would stay away from all the additional details like uh, zippers, uh, metal buttons, uh, all the additional pockets, uh, faux fur uh, inserts inserts I don't know so going for a very clean cut uh, again tailored fit will ensure that you're gonna have more possibilities to style this coat and it will look smart even though it is quite a casual piece and the next thing to consider is of course the color and my suggestion as well would be keeping in mind all these neutral tones. But of course, don't choose one tone for all these coats. So let's say for coat number one, you chosen a beige color, maybe coat number two is animal print. So let's say puffer jacket, we are going to have a in a navy color. 
so just make sure that the color that you are choosing is still in your comfort zone that you could rely on this color for many seasons to come the last point when choosing this type of coat is of course paying attention to the insulation of the coat i'm not sure if this is the right word insulation mm -hmm. now there are two options you can go for a synthetic which is not that warm or you can go for a let's say down filled jacket which guarantees the maximum warmth of your coat and i guess this is what we want during the cold days to summarize if you want to get the maximum out of your puffer jacket i would go for a long line clean cut neutral tone down filled coat i guess that's all the points <laughs> the last category of the coats i want to talk about is a faux fur coat right now faux fur coat is having a real fashion moment that's why there are plenty of different selections from the bright vivid color crazy coats to cozy teddy bear coats however since the goal of this video is to talk about more classy options i would say that there are four main things that you have to pay attention to when choosing a perfect faux fur coat for yourself so the first thing to consider is the silhouette and the cut i feel like i have been talking about these things throughout this whole video however this element is very important if you want to find that classy item that's gonna stick with you for many seasons so in my opinion classic clean cut classic lapels uh, the right length of the sleeves and the right length are crucial when choosing a perfect fit for yourself since faux fur coat is already quite a bulky item i would suggest going for a tailored fit and also choosing a little bit longer length to balance out the bulkness of this coat the second important thing to pay attention to is the neckline of the coat so in my opinion it is very important to consider what type of scarf you're gonna wear with this coat from my own experience it is always a little bit tricky to find the right match for a crew neckline as it looks nice on the hanger however when i'm trying to find the right match for this scarf i don't know just something doesn't look right now the last thing to consider when talking about the faux fur coat is the color and i will be very boring this time but i would say stick to neutral palette if you want to rely on these coats for many seasons but as we already have been talking a lot neutral color palette has a lot of different options and if you want to have something a little bit more interesting then i would stick to a very subtle classy print rather than a bright vivid color because in this case you are risking that the coat will go out of style very fast or you will get bored very quickly these are all the points to consider it will make a good decision and you will choose that perfect middle for your faux fur coat there are plenty of different styling options you can dress it up by adding a high heel shoes skirts structure bags interesting head accessories or you can dress it down by wearing uh, hiking shoes sneakers denim uh, relaxed fit uh, sweaters underneath it and that is all what i have picked for today's essential coats list and I believe that if high quality items are chosen, each of the coats will make you look stylish and put together and will serve for many seasons to come. So don't get cold and stay classy and see you very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>